Greetings viewers and welcome to today's info sharing session. We will be covering the serial number tracking feature within Sage Trinity Evolution. Now, serial number tracking allows you to keep track of serialized items and ensure that every time there's a movement of a serialized item within the database, you need to prompt and specify the serial number that's going to be used within that particular transaction. Let's see exactly how this works. I'm going to go into inventory maintenance and I'm going to go create a serialized item. Add and I'm going to go create an item here, for example, And very importantly, I need to mark the item as being a serialized item when I'm creating it. So I'm going to mark it as a serialized item. And then you simply go and, for example, add other relevant information particular to this item. Right, so my item has been created and marked as a serialized item. Now, at this point, I would need to go bring in some stocks. So when purchasing serialized items from a supplier, go to transactions and goods received voucher. select my supplier, and now I'm going to go select the serialized item that I'm going to bring in. So uh, there we go, and specify the number of items that I'm bringing. So for example, five units. And what you'll see is that there's a column now for a serialized number prompt. So it tells me that I bring in five items. I therefore need to specify five serial numbers. So I'm going to go into this column. And what you'll notice is we have a serialized number requiring screen. So as you can see, it tells me that I require five numbers. However, I've not selected any at this point in time. There are three ways in which you can bring in serialized items from this processing screen. So there's an add option, generate and import. If I say add, it's really useful, for example, um, if maybe we've got, for example, a small number of items, the serial numbers aren't in a particular sequence. So I can say, for example, um, add, and I can say, right, so I brought in these five numbers on the add option. So as you can see, I've got my five serial numbers there, five required, five selected. And really the add option is just, for example, small numbers of serialized items. There's no particular numerical sequence on those items. So, okay. And I've now got my item with my five serial numbers. If we go to our next line item, I'm going to bring in the same item. However, I'm going to use a generate option. So in this particular instance, we're going to, for example, bring in seven units. And once again, I need to prompt for seven serial numbers. So I'm going to use a generate option now. Now, generate is very useful if you've got perhaps a large number of serialized items and they are in, in, in a numerical sequence. So I'm going to, for example, say, um, give it a number. And this is the first number in the sequence. So I need to generate seven numbers. I'm just going to use a generate option. And there we go. The system has generated seven serial numbers from me based in the numerical sequence from the first number. So very easy to use if there's a large number of serialized items and there are in a numerical sequence. So I've got my seven numbers. OK, and we can continue. And finally, we've got the option to use an import feature for serialized items. So let's say, for example, I'm bringing in 12 items. And on my serialized lot numbering screen, I'm going to use the import feature. So at the bottom, there's a tab icon that says import serial numbers from a file. And what I'm simply going to be doing is I'm just going to show you what 
this file should look like. So this is simply a notepad file, a txt file with my serial numbers, with the serial number range, and one under the other, and obviously for the number of items I'm bringing. So I've got my notepad file, it's going to exit that, and back into evolution, I'm going to use the import icon, and I'm going to go browse for this particular file. So there's my file, it's a txt file, select it, there's the details, open, and there we go. So 12 required, 12 selected, it's brought in my serialized items, and as you can see, they just sort of no, in no particular numerical sequence. It just happened to be um, the numbers that received from the supplier, and I'm going to use an import file to bring them in. So say OK there, and I'm good to go. So I brought in those items from the add option, the generate, and the serial number import. Now it's a case of just putting in a serial number or an invoice number for the transaction, and I can say process. Right, so I'm not going to print it here, but I'm going to print the supply invoice. Now, what's on the supply invoice, we're going to have details about the transaction. And what you notice is we've got, we'll have the item code, and then we'll have the serialized items or the serial numbers being printed below each item. And in this particular instance, we're printing two serial numbers per line, and we've got the details there, and I can then email or print this transaction or this, 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 this document. Now, just remember is that if you, for example, have got maybe bringing maybe a lot of serial numbers at one point, you could have an invoice running over many pages simply because you're printing two numbers across. But however, we can change that setting and I'm going to close this and I'm going to revert back to my inventory defaults where we have a setting with regards to the printing of line items for serial numbers. So I'm going to go to back to my inventory defaults right and there's a serial numbers option there i'm going to use it and as you can see currently it's the setting is to print two serial numbers per line items i'm going to increase that and say for example print four numbers okay and once that's done i'm going to go back into the invoice reprint the transaction and we can see what uh, the impact this change has had on the printing of the serial numbers on the document Right, so it's back to transactions, goods received voucher. I'm going to go and locate the supply invoice I processed previously. Right, so there's my archive supply invoice. Right click and go to reprint supply invoice. And as you can see at this point, we've made the change and specified we need to print four serialized numbers or four serial numbers per line item and we've got the four numbers or the four serial numbers per line item obviously um, you just need to look at consider the options based on the length of your serial numbers um, and determine then how many numbers you want to numbers you want to print per line item on your documents right so in this instance i brought in the stock item specified my serial numbers and now it's a case of going to go and do a sale transaction for a serialized item. So invoice. And I'm going to go find a serialized item and simply specify the numbers or the quantity that I'm going to bring. So say for example, four. and a prompt for the serialized items. And at this particular point, I've got my items on the left-hand side, and now I simply need to specify which items am I selling on the sale, on this invoice transaction sale. So highlight it, move it across, and there we go. Right, so I've selected my four items or, or my four serial numbers are going to be part of this transaction. Okay. And 
there we go. I can process the transaction. When I print the document, you'll see that we've now got our details together with the four serial numbers being printed per line item. And there we have our details. Right, so that's sorted. Very easy way just to simply bring in serial numbers and then sell those items on an invoice transaction. Right, so there may be instances we need to press the credit note for serial items. And to do that, we need to go to credit notes. And I'm now going to open up, click on the open button and go find that invoice simply because we load it as linked as a linked invoice. Right, so there we go. There's my archive invoice. I'm going to use a load as linked option. Right, so there's my details. And in this instance, we've got the four numbers that were quantities that were um, sold. And just say, for example, the client only returns, for example, say three. Right, so I'm now going to go to my serialized items. And I'm going to say, And just move that across. There we go. Right, the required three, selected three. These happen to be the three serial numbered items that are being returned with credit note. And we're good to go. And process the credit note. And there we go. So process the transaction. I'm printing the document. And now it tells me that these three items or these three serial numbers have been returned in the credit note. So I can say close to that and the transaction has been completed. So the system has now done a tracking that says these items were received from the supplier on the GRV. Uh, there was a sale for certain of the serial numbers. There's been a track on that. And when the items were returned via GRV, You've now got those items being, or those serial numbered items being brought back into stock. So, in the same way that we do a normal inventory count, we also can do an inventory count and which includes our serialized items. So, if I go to my inventory count, I'm going to go to add option. And I'm going to do a normal count, but I'm just simply going to only count in this instance the serialized items. So, there we go. And I've got my information there. Right, so there's my count. And if I go, for example, to edit quantities, I'm now going to say how many were, how many items were physically counted during the count. Let's just say, for example, um, 21 were counted. And I now need to specify which serial numbers that I would count it under this particular quantity. Let's just say, for example, 21 there. And now I'm simply going to say, yes, these were the items we counted and move them across. And if need be, I can also do an import if I needed to. So, so for example, um, I've gone to go count the items. I've then gone to go capture those serial numbers on a text file as we did previously. And I can simply go use the import function and go and import the numbers that I've counted from the text file as we did previously when we received the goods. So these are the items that I happen to have found or counted during the count. So okay there. And there we go. So as you can see, system quantity is 23. We counted 21. There's a variance of two, and I've now gone to go specify which items, which serial numbers were included in the count of the 21 items which were counted. And it's simply a case of saving and closing, and then complete the count once all the other items in the count have been completed. We then also have the ability to view reports based on serialized items. So under our reports, we've got a serial number listing report. And that's simply going to either I can do a filter on a specific serial number 
or I can specify an inventory item. So it's going to list all the serialized items. And I'm going to just view on this particular item and preview. Right, so there we've got the information, all our serialized items. Um, we've got details about which items were in stock, which items have been sold. There's my details. This was the um, invoice transaction. It's now at the client, which is the current location. And we can say, for example, um, I can include, for example, I can do a search on maybe one particular serial number. Preview. And there we go. It gives me details of that transaction on that serial number. The other report we have is a serial number transactions report. So if I go in there, it's going to give me details. Once again, I can filter on inventory item or serial number. So I'm going to, let's just say, for example, on that item. And I can preview. And there we have our details. So as you can see, we've got details about the GRV transaction, which were the serial numbers received from the supplier. We've got the credit note transaction there. We've got the invoice details. And we've got a full breakdown of all transactions for that item per serial last number. So let's just go, for example, to, um, we can once again go to this serial number. And I can preview. Right, so there's got details about the GRV, there's the supply information, AP module, there was then the invoice issuing of stock to our, to our customer, and then in this instance, there was the return of that serial number on the credit note. Right, so as you can see, really is a way that you can keep full track on the movement of serialized number, serial numbered items within the application, be it a stock count, receiving of goods via GRV, a credit note, an invoice, a warehouse transfer, et cetera. Every time there's a movement of a serialized item, the prompt will display requesting you to insert which serial numbers are applicable to this particular transaction. I do hope this presentation has been useful. Thank you so much for watching. It's over and out for me and goodbye.